Welcome to Mama Look TV. Fuck you! Mama Look TV, baby. <laughs> Some real Mama Look shit. <laughs> yeah. Mama Look. <laughs> This is the Mama Lou TV show, and you're with Carl from Earth Crisis and Lorenzo from Sworn Enemy over here. What's your thoughts on uh, you guys uh, reuniting and, you know, the reunion of the band that's legendary for the, you know, any straight edge, vegan type, you know, lifestyle that kids live and, you know, all that other stuff. You know? The tour's been awesome. We've done the whole U.S. now, and we're... A lot of long drives. A lot of long drives. But it's been worth it because the show's been awesome. The shows have been awesome. I agree. And we're on the tour and we have like two days left. The drives have been brutal. You know, the only fun part of touring basically is getting on stage and playing for your friends and fans. Everything else between it is really hard, you know? It is, yeah. And that's, that's important too for kids to think about too. You know what I mean? Like, to do our bands at the same time, while we are having a lot of fun, a lot of stuff does get sacrificed for it too. It's a tough lifestyle, so whoever's you know, listening, man, if you start a band, be prepared for, uh, you know, like, rough, roughing it on the road. It's not easy. It's, it's you need pads, man, because it's a lot of fucking dick sucking, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst fucking thing in the world. Not eat right, feel like shit when you gotta go on stage and try to have energy for your friends and fans. And it's not easy, man. You know, this is a true Mama Luke lifestyle. You know, dirty, you don't wash your balls, you're disgusting, you scratch. I got a scratch right now, the goop area. It's fucking disgusting. It's a disgusting lifestyle. <laughs> but, <laughs> Carl, how's your showers, man? You've been washing your balls a lot or no? We've been getting showers. We're good. The amount of people coming to the shows and, like, uh, you know, how, how passionate Earth Crisis is for a lot of the kids, what, how's that make you feel? It makes me glad to see, you know, that we can come out of the grave after like seven, six or seven years and you know our old fans are there and there's new kids that started listening to our stuff after we wrapped it up that are into it now so I'm, I'm really happy with the response. It's just crazy to, to, to reunite a band such as, you know, as legendary as you guys and show these kids that are like 15, 16 that are into straight edge hard what a real straight edge band is, you know, being an older, an older man, and you know, like fucking really believing in straight edge because there's a lot of kids, you know, who I'm talking about, motherfuckers that have straight edge tattoos all over their body and they're fucking drinking and sniffing coke, and that to me is, you know, it happens, you know. But I, 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 I respect this man right here because he holds the torch. If you ask me, like EC holds the torch for you know anything like with that kind of ground, you know, groundbreaking, you know, yes, it was used to today and, and, and other straight edge bands, but nothing as legendary as Earth Crisis because, you know, they brought it hard and they, you know, you guys were fucking, you know, huge. And I am very thankful too for all, like the Easy fans, the Freya fans, the Path of Resistance fans over the years that like are still there, you know, and they still keep coming. Like, thanks to them, I can do this and I realize that, you know. At the end of the day, is all you have is your fans. Yeah. If they weren't there, you wouldn't have anything. Definitely. You know, like, like with Sworn Enemy, we have, you know, a lot of fans, and we have a lot of crazy fans, and we got a lot of haters, too, you know, but it, that makes us fight more to be better for our fans, you, you know? You got way more fans and haters, and, like, for new bands that are watching this, too, like what Lorenzo just said is, like, gospel truth. Your fans, most important thing because the label, the management, the booking agent, all those kind of people are going to be gone on to the next thing at some point that they think they can make money on because they've all got dollar signs in their eyes. You know what I mean? The, pe the people to make happy are the fans that are loyal and the band members that you do it with. That should be like the focus. Any last words? Um, thanks to everybody that came out, supported the tour. Check out the new Sworn Enemy, the new AF, the newest Madball. Um, EC's gonna have a new album out at some point next year. Freya's gonna have something new. Keep your eyes open, we're gonna have some new stuff. Mama Luke TV, baby. From the bottom.